Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today I'm bringing you my review of Stray Dogs, number one, from Image Comics. I haven't been as excited about a new comic as I have been for Stray Dogs in a long time. I just read the first issue, and it's one of those comics you didn't know you needed so bad, but you do. Um, it's written by Tony Fleeces, with art by Trish Forster, and colors by Brad Simpson. Of note, Tone Rodriguez is credited for layouts. He's a familiar name to Image Comics from back in the day. The cover instantly draws you in. It's like a bloody homage to a classic Stephen King novel with this Disney flair. It's got the main character, Sophie, looking so cute. And then um, it's sort of like got this dark red vibe that looks pretty ominous. So the bu book starts with the protagonist, Chihuahua, Sophie, terrified at the vet. Um, she's waiting for her Bortadello shot. There's some exposition in the form of banter between the vet and Sophie's owner, discussing how a dog thinks and how its memory works. As a Chihuahua owner myself, I'm not completely sold on their assessment, but I could be biased, so we'll see what happens. We move to Sophie being brought by a man to a house full of a variety of other dogs. Um, she's pretty traumatized and doesn't know why. The other dogs welcome her, and an alpha male named Rusty introduces himself, uh, questioning whether or not they know each other from somewhere else. Another seed planted. Rusty takes on the task of showing her where to eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom. There's a room that they are forbidden from um, going into, uh, but seem to have pretty much free reign on the house um, in the backyard, even being informed they all sleep in the master's bedroom. Sounds like an animal lover to me. Overwhelmed, Sophie has an accident on the carpet and retreats from the rest of the animals who lend their support when she's ready. The master finds her later under a table sleeping and offers her food. Then he tries to comfort her by wrapping her with a scarf that triggers uh, her memory and uh, reveals the awful truth. And it is terrifying. And worse, none of the other dogs believe her. And does Sophie even believe herself? Okay, I want to mention that Trish Forster is an amazing artist. I've never seen her art before, and I'm an instant fan. This art is Disney gorgeous. It looks animation ready. She draws animals so good and really captures the emotions and body language um, perfectly while nailing the Disney, Disney but being capable of the the coming dark side that we just know is going to happen. So it's being touted as Lady and the Tramp meets Silence of the Lambs, which I think is awesome. And I'd say it's definitely has a, what if Stephen King wrote a Disney movie vibes all over it. Credit must be given to Brad Simpson for the gorgeous palette he brings to it. Um, it has such a warm animated feel. I'm anxiously anticipating the next issue. If you like amazing art and compelling stories with surprising dark twists, this one is for you. It's not your run-of-the-mill superhero book. It's from Image Comics, and it's definitely different fare. I highly recommend it. So if you like my review of Stray Dogs, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, and thank you for listening. I'll bring you some more content later. All right, thanks, guys.